today we are cooking again. I've been making a lot of cooking videos, but um, here we are. Black sticky rice pudding, which is, you know, of course, God's creation. Now that we're not supposed to really go outside, it is the perfect time for me to have my first attempt at perfecting the black sticky rice recipe. So... Okay, so I have my ingredients kind of ready here. We've got a cup of water, a cup of black rice. I just got this from Coles. Uh, one cup of light coconut milk split into half cups each because I only had two of those. A quarter of a cup of unsweetened dried coconut flakes. And I will be putting, instead of brown sugar, I will be using stevia because I... Oh, I'm not even showing you. I'm like, it's stevia. Stevia because I had to try my best not to eat a lot of sugar. So when we ate it in Bali, they used coconut sugar. This is going to serve four to six people in a medium saucepan. One cup of water, two cups of water. Add the rice and the coconut milk. And bring to a boil over medium to high heat. Well, that's that. Done. So I have to bring it to a boil over medium to high heat, which is what I've got it on. And then once it's at a boil, let it simmer on low heat for 45 minutes. So meanwhile, it wants us to toast the coconut. So meanwhile, back over here. I ate so much black sticky rice pudding when I was in Bali. It's honestly probably one of my favorite foods that I've ever tried when I've gone traveling today. Um, so I'm really, really hoping with my heart that this works. Usually with these cooking videos, I kind of have the attitude of like, ah, oh, we'll just improvise, we'll just see what happens. Like it'll still taste really good, but this is just so important. You know, like I don't want to waste any of my rice. <laughs> because I want to be able to make more and uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm really like emotionally invested in this, to be honest. It has been a very eventful last five minutes. So the rice got really dry all of a sudden and so I'm going to be showing you. It got really dry all of a sudden so I added a quarter of a cup of water at two different times. So I've added another half cup of water because that's what it says to do if the rice gets too dry. I'm so sorry if you can't hear me over that fan by the way. I've gotten it to a nice little simmering thing. I think there's about 10-15 minutes left on the timer. I'm thinking about adding the sugar and the salt in very very soon. We will see. Oh my god, okay. One, two, three. Um, so serving four to six, I don't know if that's necessarily right because I'm gonna get two servings out of it. So that's uh interesting. The reveal. It smells like black sticky rice pudding, but does it taste like the one I know? My one true love. I also put bananas in the bottom just to give it a little bit. You know, health. We love health. Oh my gosh. Yo. Um, so this is absolutely delightful. This tastes exactly with a little bit of that stevia aftertaste, which is totally fine because I like the taste of stevia. I'll try it again with brown rice for if I'm not cooking for myself, but mm, I truly never did think that I would be here, but yet, yeah. wow. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that's literally it. And when the black sticky rice pudding kind of seeps down into the banana. The banana actually tastes almost caramelized. I'm on top of the world right now. You don't even understand. I made it! This recipe is delightful. I can only imagine ama how amazingly sugary it would be with normal brown sugar, but you know, if you're into that kind of thing, go for it. Even with just a little bit of sugar, if you wanted to have it for like breakfast or something, because this is technically breakfast food, it's a very versatile dish. You really can't eat it for every meal. Very versatile. Absolutely. I would recommend it. It's absolutely delicious. 
that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will link below the recipe I used for this dish because it's absolutely amazing and you definitely try it. I am threatening you with this spoon. Thank you again so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>